We can create various different password policies in Active Directory, but what if we wanted to create a fine-grained policy for passwords? And the reason you may want to do that is because you might want to have different password policies for different people or groups in your organization. So let's take a look at how we do that. I'm in Active Directory. I'm going to go to Tools, and I'm going to go into Active Directory Administrative Center. So I know a lot of people aren't in that very often, but uh, in this particular case, this is where we need to go. So I'm going to click on my domain on the left-hand side, and then I'm going to scroll down to where it says System. This is a special container that has settings that other things just don't have. So I'll double click on it and it allows me to create this password type of policy that's going to be fine grained. So now I'm going to go into password settings container and you can see there's no current type of password settings. So I need to create a new one. So I'll click on new password settings and this is going to be my fine grained policy. And the reason it's called fine grained is just because I can specify who it applies to rather than having it apply to everyone. So I'll just call this a custom policy. You can call it whatever you want. And then the precedence. So the lower the number, the higher the precedence it's going to be. So basically, if you don't want anything to override what it is that you're doing, then you go ahead and put that as a one. If you don't mind something else uh, overriding it, then you could put a two or a three or a four. But you'll need to find out what else is running that may cause a conflict with this particular password policy. If you do a one, then it's going to be the safest way to go where nothing's going to be above it. Now we need to say the enforce minimum password length. You can see the default is going to be the same default as it is in Active Directory, which is going to be seven characters. Now, Microsoft is recommending if you are still using any type of password uh, po type of policy where you have a number attached to it, that 15 is really what they'd like to see. But not all users would agree that that's something that they'd like to do. So you might want to go with something like 8 or 10, something like that. Then we have the enforce password history. That's how many passwords before it is that you can reuse a password that's been used before. So 24 might be a little bit high. You might want to start reusing, say, at around uh, 8 or something like that. So we'll just say 8. But you can, again, make these anything you want. These are just suggestions. Then you have the enforce minimum password age to keep hackers from resetting the password back or, or a type of malware. And you have enforce maximum password age as well. So in this case, it's going to force that user to reset their password after 42 days. And then the protect from accidental deletion, that basically keeps anybody from accidentally deleting this particular policy, although you can go in and edit it. Otherwise, if you uncheck it, then you'll be able to go back in and delete it at a later time. So I'm going to click add and decide who it is that I'd like to apply this to. So I can type in a group or a name. I'm going to click advanced because that's going to show me all the different users that I have. So I can either choose, once again, a user or a group. I'm just going to go ahead and choose an individual user and click OK. So what this is going to do is if you have a default domain policy, then this policy is going to override that particular default domain policy, but only for this particular user or a group group if I add that group in. And then I'll click OK. And then after a few minutes, that user goes to log in, then they will be forced to have that particular policy once their password expires. So that is how we set up and enforce a fine-grained password policy using group policy in Active Directory.